The problem with blindfolds, you get freaking milk in your beard. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> they call it a milk mustache for a reason. <laughs> Welcome to Seriously Serial, episode 214. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bring people together. Find out more at... <laughs> if you prefer your cereal dry, then you're a snacker, like my buddy Bowler. <laughs> or if you prefer with milk, then you're a spooner, like our pal Spoonie. Every month we post four episodes with a theme, and this month's theme is... Surprise! Mm, the surprises make me nervous, <laughs> but I trust you, Max. Oh, thank you, Bria. Remind me how this theme works? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> this month we'll be reviewing three different serials blindfolded, and that means we won't get to see what serial we're reviewing until the end of each episode. Then, on the last Saturday of June, I'll host an extra special episode while I'll answer fan questions with a very surprise guest. That's a really neat theme, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> and today's cereal is... Whoa! <laughs> a surprise. Well, I do love presents. <laughs> There's no time like the present. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So we don't even get to see a serving of the cereal. Yeah, no. At first, we'll only get to know the calories, the carbohydrates, and the added sugar, as well as how big one serving size is. After that, we'll put on our blindfolds, and Spoonie will fill our bowls for the taste test. <laughs> Alright, so this week's surprise cereal has 140 calories, 34 grams of carbohydrates, and 13 grams of added sugar per serving. Hmm. And what's the serving size? One cup. Okay. It's so important to learn about serving sizes for all foods. And cereal is a great way to practice measuring skills. So last Saturday, you and Jennifer let the viewers have a video clue. Are we going to do that this week? Absolutely. Again, this video won't tell you exactly what the cereal is, but it should give you a little hint. Well, we better put on our blindfold so we don't see the clue. <laughs> okay. Really, I think I could dunk on you. But I bet I love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes more than you. Come on, buddy. My picture's on the box. It's the truth, Tony. Tiebreaker. Who's got the deeper voice? They're, They're right. right. I win. I win. Oh, you're <laughs> cute when you're wrong. Over the last year, Mission Tiger has helped fund school sports for over 356,000 kids. But we're not done. Help me make sure when sports come back, they come back for everyone. Grab a spoon. Support the mission. Alright, so very, very strong cinnamon smell, I'd say. Like kind of almost like a, like a maple cinnamon smell. Yeah, definitely. It reminds me a little bit of like cinnamon cream of wheat. Yeah, or like uh, the maple brown sugar oatmeal, like instant oatmeal. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so we have like a, a corn flake kind of a situation happening. Mm. Yeah, very flaky, very mm. frosted flakes. That's mm. a crunch to it. Mm -hmm. We also have this, this spherical situation. Oh, and that's where the cinnamon's coming from. Has a nice cinnamon aftertaste. Seems like. mm. Mm. Not noticing any of the uh, spherical flakes you're mentioning, but... So, obviously I don't have the milk happening here, but I've got two, like, distinct shapes. I've got a flake, and I've got this round thing, like a cocoa puff kind of size, but it tastes like cinnamon. Mm. To me, the flake does not taste like cinnamon. It just tastes like frosted flakes. I wonder if maybe like the cinnamon is going into the milk and that's why I'm tasting it but mm -hmm. by then. Okay, I might be getting some of those? Here. I'm not sure. They might be I think they might be be, be like disguised by the flakes, honestly. It's like it's hard it's hard to tell like what parts of the cereal you're eating when you're when you're blindfolded. I think that was it. I'm not finding like marshmallows or anything. Yeah, no. I was kinda of hoping. <laughs> Honestly, with Frosted Flakes, I, I, I don't think it needs marshmallows. No, I don't think it needs it, but I mean... Where? Marshmallows. Oh, it's very fresh. Okay, I just got one of those. Mm-hmm. One of the round things, I finally noticed it, and yeah, it does have like a cinnamon flavor to it. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. 
It really isn't. It's certainly better than some of like the like Frosted Flakes flavors we've tried prior to this. Yeah, I feel like they were actually pretty significantly terrible. And this yeah. This is pretty good. Yeah. It's still weird eating blindfolded though. Yeah. It gets about as soggy as Frosted Flakes, so... It, I, th I think it's probably like a Frosted Flakes base of some sort. It's like a Frosted Flakes flavor or something. Oh, such a good generic flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that? On <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it's not bad. There's no milk in mine, so it's nice and crispy. I think I'd give it like a three. Mm. I'm a snacker. Like, not bad. I don't feel like Frosted Flakes are great for snacking. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. it's okay. I give it a pause. I give it a pretty positive four. It's kind of losing its flavor now that I'm like through the majority of a flake, so at least I think I am. <laughs> but like at the start, it has like a nice cinnamon flavor, and it's not like unpleasant like other like frosted flakes flavors. I I'm just assuming that this is like a frost a variation of frosted flakes at this point. It seems pretty obvious yeah. to me. If not that, then it's like a like the uh, sugar flakes, like right now or whatever, or something <laughs> like that. But yeah, it's I think I. I think this, I would actually, like, have this, as opposed to, like, someone like the, like, cinnamon frosted flakes that we had before. Like, this whatever, is better. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. putting, what, putting the cinnamon in, like, these little, those other cereals, I don't, I can't really tell what they are. I think that was a good choice. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know if I'd pick this over regular frosted flakes, but, I don't know, it's alright, it's alright. Really, I just think it deserves a four for uh, actually getting a different flavor of Frosted Flake, right? <laughs> <laughs> true. Very true. I'm so ready to know the surprise! Okay! Today's cereal was Frosted Flakes <laughs> with Cinnamon Basketballs. Oh, it's the cereal with where Tony the Tiger and Shaq are friends. Yeah. They're teasing each other about who likes Frosted Flakes more and who has the deeper voice. <laughs> I just love that commercial. Yeah. Shaq was really popular when I was a kid, and I wasn't super into basketball outside of like Space Jam. Okay. Um, but we did have the same last name, O'Neal. Oh, fun. <laughs> Yeah, Shaq always seemed really cool to me. And again, like, much like you, I don't really know too much about sports besides, uh, I guess, weightlifting and hiking. But <laughs> admittedly, I do like to shoot a few hoops on the Blue Forge campus when the ball doesn't go into the bushes. But that's besides the point. <laughs> Maxwell and Faith will see you next Saturday for a brand new cereal surprise. <laughs> see you guys then.